Okay, welcome to filmmaking level three. Okay, in this level, in this tech two, you are going to create your own movie. Okay, so let's just review what got us here. We started off with filmmaking level one where you made a documentary film of the Kiva charity, which is great. Then you moved into filmmaking level two where you made a comedy or a drama uh, short movie that I had the script for. Remember you did the one on the test where it's just like, you failed the history test because it was a science test. Okay, that. So you learned kind of how to direct people, how to film better, how to get good audio, those type of things. Now, moving on to level three. This is what your assignment is going to be. You need to create your own. It's got to be between three and five minutes long. Okay, so I don't, I don't need a 20 minute video, but between three and five. I also don't need a one minute video like the test. You need to give me something more. And you need to write the script and come up with the storyboard and it's gotta be all you, okay? So now there's some limitations of what's going on here. The first is you obviously have to shoot it, you know, in the classroom or like out in the courtyard area behind me out the doors there, or maybe Jasm Field at the very farthest, but I've gotta be able to come here and look out the window and be like, oh, okay, I'm supervising these students because they're, they're under my care. So you can't, maybe I might allow you to go up, maybe shoot in a hallway for 20 minutes, but not very long. Okay, so you've gotta design, come up with a movie idea that, and it could be a scary movie, it could be an alien, you know, it could be anything, but, so that, that's, that's the first criteria. It's got to be filmed somewhere in the classroom or very close to the classroom. Number two, students play students, okay? I don't need someone pretending to be a teacher or pretending to be a parent or anything. Make a movie about students doing student things, okay? So if you're 14 years old, it should be about 14-year-olds, okay? That's all I'm saying. Your actors should act who they are. Okay, uh, make sure that it's appropriate theme for middle school that we can show it at an assembly and no one's going to get into trouble. Okay, um, that's kind of things. Uh, oh, yeah, and you have no budget, so you can't be coming up with like, we want a movie that takes place on Mars and we're going to shoot it all on green screen. I mean, I don't know, maybe you could pull it off, but I have no money for you to come up with sets and costumes and makeup and all that stuff. So you've got to come up with some cool ideas. And there's a lot of great movies. I've been doing filmmaking with students for years and there are some great ways to make movies right here. So you've got to come up with it. You've got to storyboard it for me, write a script, and then I've got to approve it before you start shooting, okay? So you got to come up to me and say, hey, Mr. Flick, here's our storyboard or here's our script. This is what we're thinking about. And then I'm going to take a look at it and be like, oh, that's a good idea or, hmm. I don't know about this where you get into a kung fu fight in the middle of this scene here. I mean, I mean that's kind of cool actually. So, but you know, you know what I'm saying? I got to check it out to make sure that it's okay. And then you can go ahead and shoot it. So that's what the challenge is. Remember, you're making a movie between three and five minutes long. It's, you're going to get whatever actors you need and you're going to write it. You're going to direct it. You're going to produce it, edit it, all those things. And below this, now this is a level three. It's going to take you a while. Below this are a bunch of good videos that I found across YouTube that can really give you tricks that you need to know to be a better filmmaker, okay? So spend the time to watch some of these videos. A big important one is the 180 degree rule when you film a conversation between two people. So that's a big one to learn. So, you know, spend some time, watch the videos that are below this one, and then begin your process of coming up with an idea and start, you know, formulating it in your head of what you want. And remember, it's got to, it's got to be a story arc, okay? You've got to tell a story. It's got to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So it's usually there's a challenge, you rise to the challenge, and you conquer the challenge. You know, it has to be that, it has to be that story arc uh, that you've been learning about in school for years. Okay, make me proud. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Let's get it done.